Hi, good evening everyone. So today we are going to go ahead and we are going to talk about the gate economics books that you can go ahead and refer, right? So books reference list for gate economics paper. We are going to do similarly for others also. IIT, CUET, etc. But today I want to refer for gate economics. Right. Now, when we talk about gate economics, you know, this is the most wide and vast syllabus that I have ever seen in an entrance exam. The first thing is going to be microeconomics. I have already prepared a separate video on microeconomics uh, strategy as to how you can prepare for microeconomics. And I will go ahead and pin that video uh, on the top. So you can go ahead and have a look at that video also. Microeconomics, as I told in that video, can be broadly divided into consumer theory, producer theory, general equilibrium, and uh, moral hazard, imperfect information, uh, market forms, etc. The best book which you can use for microeconomics can be Snyder and Nicholson. Right? It is an excellent book for referring for microeconomics. You can combine Snyder and Nicholson with Varian and if time permits, some part of Serrano. But the major book which you should be following should be Snyder and Nicholson. Apart from this, of course, you need to go ahead and cover all past year papers of GATE from the point of view of microeconomics. Some topics of microeconomics are better in Varian and some are better in Snyder. For example, when we talk about the theory of revealed preference, right? This is something which is better explained in Varian. But when we go ahead and when we talk about the concept of uh, the consumer uh, theory, Hicksian and uh, when we talk about the Hicksian demand curve and Marshallian demand curve, that concept is better covered in Snyder. The duality theorem is better covered in Snyder. Right. So what you need to go ahead and what you need to do is combine the two things together and then study accordingly, right? Okay. The next thing that you can go ahead and you can focus on is going to be macroeconomics. For macroeconomics, again, the issue is that there is no single book which you can refer to, but I'm going to give you two books. So one you should be referring to is Don Bush. And second, you should be referring to is Blanchard. Again, some parts are good in Don Bush. For example, I kind of like the ISLM curve from Don Bush. Uh, but some parts are better explained than Blanchard. For example, when we talk about the labor market aspect, that is well, well defined in Blanchard. When we talk about collective bargaining, how labor markets function, that's well explained in Blanchard. Some models are not there in both Don Bush and Blanchard. So if you are doing self-study, if you are with me, that's fine. I will give you a video lectures on it. But if you are doing self-study, then make sure that you Google those and you study those topics as, as well, right? So one example of this can be, for example, there is a topic in the syllabus, which is called as Dale Jorgensen's Neoclassical Theory of capital accumulation. Huh? So most of the students, they cover Tobin's Q model. They cover Tobin's uh, cap, uh, capital accumulation. But they don't do Dale Jorgensen's uh, neoclassical theory. But that is also asked in, can be asked in exam, right? So you would know, my last year's students would know that we had, I had given you a video lecture on this theory also, right? Similarly, many students don't study prudential regulating well right uh, but that is part of the syllabus and that is need in neither books 
तो यू नीड टू ऑल्सो मेक श्योर दैट द कॉन्सेप्ट विच आर मैंशनड इन द सिलेबस बट आर नॉट वेरी रेग्युलर कॉन्सेप्ट दे आर नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ द बुक प्लीज डू दोज ऑल्सो राइट सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल प्रोडेंशियल रेग्युलेशन Right. Okay. Then, for example, real business cycles. It's important from the exam of uh, exam point of view. Then it comes. The third one is statistics. For stats, you can refer to Devore, and you can refer to S. C. Gupta. These books are majorly enough for you to cover the statistical part, and you really don't need anything on top of it. then comes econometrics for econometrics i kind of like the book gujarati it is a well well uh, thoroughly written book but <clears throat> you know in your um, in your semester exam you only do till chapter 13 of gujarati you only do what is heteroscedasticity autocorrelation and uh, what is multicollinearity and specification models but you don't focus on spurious regression unit root model simultaneous equations recursive and non recursive so that is an extra part which is towards the end of gujarati so you need to make sure that you also do that aspect you cover the entire book of gujarati and not just these chapters then we have maths for maths you can do sit sater and hammond this is a much well written book as compared to ac chiang although ac chiang is a good book but ac chiang is a lower version of this book ha huh? the the uh, it's comparatively easier as compared to uh, sit sater and hammond i kind of think you should be going for sit sater and hammond then you have indian economy this is literally the most vast subject and there is no single book to be referred for indian economy you can go ahead and you can go for uma kapila and you can go for ramesh singh also take any one book ramesh singh is better but Again, there is no single book for this, हाँ तो कुछ topics हैं जो it will be easier if you Google and study. Yeah, if you are with me, you just look at the video lecture. जैसे for example, goods and service tax. Just look at my video lecture; it is enough. For example, fiscal responsibility and budget management act (FRBMA) two thousand and three. Just look into my video lecture, and that is enough. And if you are doing a self study, just Google it and do it, है ना? So it is not very necessary that you stick to these books there are some topics jo jaise for example demonetization and its aftermath ha huh? so for this it is better if you go ahead and you really do these through the uh, video lectures or through google through self study rather than looking at any particular book then you have development economics for development economics again there is there are multiple books right and one of the very good book uh, that you can have will be uh, to daro and smith you can refer to this book for a lot of aspects of uh, development economics for uh, what is development what is growth what are human development index etc etc what are um yeah, sustainable development goals mdgs sdgs but apart from this there are multiple development models that you need to study or bahut sare models na they are not even taught at college level right so you need to study smith ricardo marx schum peter rosto in sab ke growth models big push theory so those models again if you are doing self study you can do it through google and if you're with me i will be giving you recorded models for these also and i think they are already on your portal by now you should be finding these development models then the next thing that you need to focus on in these models which is something which is definitely going to be asked will be solo harrod domer model right and ramsey these are three important models it is my high intuition that this time there will be a question on 
disembodied and embodied technical progress. It's a question aa sakta hai. So you need to understand what is disembodied and embodied uh, technical progress. Wo karna zaruri hai. Then you have public economics. It. Public economics. For public economics, you can refer to the book called Culess and Jones. Right? And again, uh, it's a good book, but sab kuch ek hi book mein nahi milta hai. So you need to do some things on your own also. For example, uh, you know, there is a very important concept that we do in microeconomics where we find tax incidence as a function of elasticity. You know, how much incidence falls on consumer and producer as a function of elasticity of demand and supply? This kind of question can be asked in exam. You will not find, you may not find this in book, right? In one book. Ek hi book mein ye sab nahi milega. So usually I collect it from different places. So for example, recently there have been questions on environment as public good. Right? So you need to make sure that such concepts you also cover as part of public economics. But over and all, this is a good book that you can go ahead and you can follow. And there are some aspects in Snyder and Nicholson also. Snyder and Nicholson, mein na, you will find a chapter on public goods externality. You can do those chapters also. Okay. There is a very high chance that there can be a question on budget multiplier. So, you have to do And you have international economics. Many students, I don't know why they are afraid of international economics, why they don't like this. For international economics, you can refer to Salvatore. Right? International economics may there are some important concepts like trade multiplier which can be asked in exam right then there can be a question on your uh, balance of payment there can be a question on mundale fleming model this is one of my favorite topics to be covered in class very interesting topic okay and then there are theories okay there is a uh, Smith model, Ricardo model, what is absolute advantage, comparative advantage, specification model. So, what models you need to go ahead and cover. So, that is and the history of IMF and World Bank. Okay. Again, so for this entire thing, Salvator is an excellently written book and you can refer to Salvator. Uske upar aur uske niche karne ki kuch zagrat nahi hai. There are chances that this year there can be a question on gravity model. So just go through that also. Okay. Whenever you do these things, apart from this, make sure that you also do the past year papers. They are also very important. But more or less, this is your books reference list for GATE Economics paper 2025. I wish you all the very best for your upcoming exam. And I will meet you in the coming days. I will give you similar book list for other exams also. IIT, ISI, CUIT and other exams. And very soon, I will be also discussing the strategy for your other subjects. Okay, thank you.